Welcome to the Ultimate Sports Podcast. Today is Tuesday, July 9th, 2019. Today I'm going to go over last night's home run derby, look ahead to today's All-Star game, go over yesterday's and this morning's Wimbledon results, and look ahead to the rest of today's and tomorrow's matches, the Summer League, and my best bet of the day. All right, we're going to start with the home run derby. It was such an event last night. It was one of the best ones that I could remember. The winner of the event was Peter Alonzo of the New York Mets. And he won it over the 8th seed Vladimir Guerrero Jr. 23-22 to home runs as Alonzo went second in the final. And he passed Guerrero Jr. And he didn't even need the uh, 32nd of bonus time to do it. The rest of the bracket from the start of it, Vlad Jr. took care of Matt Chapman, 29-13. Chapman, it was literally no match as he was second to go in that round, meaning that match, and Vlad Jr. is just amazing in that match. Then, in actually, the first duet to go was Jack Peterson and Alex Bregman. Peterson came out on top, 21-16. to 16. And then came the other side of the bracket. Ronald Acuna Jr. defeated Josh Bell, 25-16. And then Alonzo over San- and Carlos Santana, 14-13. Second round. My highlight was watching the Vladimir Guerrero Jr. and the Jack Peterson show get down. They actually tied at 29. And then they did a one-minute showdown in each of them had eight in the one-minute showdown, which upped their totals to 37. And then they did the three-swing timeless showdown. Guerrero had one home run, then Peterson had one home run, so it was 38-38. And then they go that swing round again, Vlad Jr. had two, and then Peterson had one as Guerrero advanced to the final against Alonzo. And then Ronald Acuna Jr. against Alonzo. Alonzo came out on top 20-19. to Although Pete Alonzo won this event, everybody's going to remember the performance Vladimir Guerrero Jr. had. It reminded me of Josh Hamilton in 2008 at Yankee Stadium a little bit because Hamilton did not win. Guerrero Jr. did not win. But they're just going to be what this event was remembered for. All right. The All-Star Games tonight, 8 o'clock on Fox. Joe Buck, John Smoltz, Ken Rosenthal, and Tom Ferducci on the call. It should be a fun event. I think that the American League and the National League both put out Good starting rosters. But I'm going to go a little different. I think the National League wins this thing for the first time since 2012. I just think it's their time. And my pick to be the all-star game most valuable player. I'm going to go with Cody Bellinger to win the all-star game MVP. He's one of the two favorites for the National League MVP. And it just feels like it's his year. And I think he has a legit chance at the Triple Crown this year as well. So give me Cody Bellinger to win the All-Star Game MVP award and for the National League to win, I'm going to say by a score of 5 to 4. Now I'm going to go over the Wimbledon results from yesterday in both the men's and the women's and look ahead to the rest of today's and tomorrow's matches as well. We're going to start on the men's side of things, which actually there weren't any matches this morning, so I'm just going to look back on yesterday. Rafael Nadal over Joao Sousa in three sets. Roberto Batista Agut over Benoit Paire in three sets. Daniel Goffin over Fernando Verdasco in four sets. Sam Querrey over Tani Sangren in four sets. Novak Djokovic over Hugo Humbert in three sets. Guido Pella over Milos Raoncic 
in five sets. Kidi Shiorki over the absolute underdog of this tournament on the men's side that really made a name for himself. And that was Mikhail Kukushkin. Got to give it to him for a great tournament. And Roger Federer over Matteo Berrettini in three sets. All right, tomorrow we have the quarterfinals. Sam Querrey against Rafael Nadal. I am going to take Nadal here to move on. Novak Djokovic against Daniel Goffin. I'm going to take Djokovic here. Kini Shiorki against Roger Federer. I'm going to take Federer. And Guido Pella against Roberto Batista Agut. I'm going to take Batista Agut here. Women's. Yesterday's results. You had... Elena Siviltinia over Petra Martic in two sets. Barbora Strykova over Elise Mertens in three sets. Zhang Suhai over Diana Yastrzemka in three sets. Allison Risk over Ashley Barty in three sets. Carolina Muchova over Carolina Pliskova. In three sets, Serena Williams over Carlos Suarez Navarro. In two sets, Simona Halep over Coco Goff. In two sets, what a run for Coco Goff, by the way. And Johanna Conta over Petra Kvitova in three sets. All right. Ones that got finals so far. Serena Williams over Allison Risk. In three sets, what a run for Allison Risk. Simona Halep over Zhang Suhai in two sets. And still to come, you have Barbara Strykova against Johanna Conta. Strykova's been on a fantastic run, too. She's been the Cinderella, or one of the few Cinderellas on the women's side. And the one that's still standing. But I think her run comes to an end today against Johanna Conta. And then you have Alina Sivaltina over Carolina Muchova. I think... Sviviltinia moves on. All right. Tomorrow is an off day. And the semifinals for the women's begins on Thursday. All right. Now we're going to go to the Summer League. Go over yesterday's games. Look ahead to today's games. Thunder over the 76ers. 80-41 in overtime. Sixers were down big the entire game. They came from behind and forced overtime. Zaire Smith had 18 for Philly, and Kevin Hervey had 17 for the Thunder. Kings over the Mavericks, 105-101. Cameron Payne had 32, and Milton Doyle had 22. Pistons over the Pacers, 102-84. Aaron Holiday had 20 for Indiana, and Matt Costello had 20 for Detroit. Nets over the Wizards, 88-85. Rui Hakamura had 19 for Washington, and Josh Gray had 19 for Brooklyn. Spurs over the Raptors, 93-90. Lonnie Walker at 32. Jordan Lloyd at 27. Celtics over the Cavs, 89-72. Dylan Windler had 15. Carson Edwards had 14. Timberwolves over the Bucks, 191. Mitchell Creek had 19, or I'm sorry, 18, and Elijah Bryant at 31. Pelicans over the Bulls, 109-72. Jackson A's had 28. Kobe White had 25. China over the Hornets, 84-80. What an upset here. Zhu Qi had 17 for China, and Arnoldis Kloboka had 18 for Charlotte. Warriors over the Lakers, 88-80. Jordan Poole at 23 and Jordan Caroline at 27. Today's games, 3 at 30, ESPN 3, Croatia Thunder, 4 o'clock, ESPN 2, Heat Magic, 5.30, ESPN 3, Pacers Hawks, 6 o'clock, ESPN 2, Trailblazers Jazz, 7.30, ESPN 3, Suns Grizzlies, 8 o'clock, ESPN 2, Nuggets Celtics, 9.30, ESPN 3, Knicks Raptors, 
10 o'clock ESPN 2, Kings Rockets, and 11.30 ESPN 3, Clippers Wizards. All right, best bet of the day brought to you by FanDuel. We have some of the quarterfinals to go in the Wimbledon. We could go with the Summer League. We could pick the All-Star game. So we have options here today for the best bet. All right, we'll start with the Wimbledon. We're going to go with Novak Djokovic, Roberto Batista Goop, Roger Federer, Rafael Nadal. We'll go with Joanna Conta. And then in the All-Star game, we're going to go with the National League, which is a slight underdog. So that all together is a shade above three to one, wagering a dollar payout of four dollars and ten cents. That's it for today. I'm gonna go over the all star game tomorrow. Look ahead to the ESPYs and pick my SB award picks. Summer League, Wimbledon. Look out for some guests tonight and for the rest of the week. I have my buddy Sean on as we're gonna do First half MLB awards and preview the second half and pitchers who could be on the move and players who could be on the move and whatnot. And continue to look out for my prospects and draft assets series for baseball. I did mine on the Diamondbacks yesterday. We're going to continue then today with the Braves and maybe we'll get into the Orioles, the Red Sox, and all the cities that begin with the C and maybe even get up to D and the Tigers. All right. Hope you guys have a great day, everybody.